Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that the last three or four videos have just been transformations with music. I've not been able to talk to you properly because there's been issues with lighting and the camera and everything like that. Today's video is still going to be a transformation but I'm going to be talking over it and just telling you what I'm doing to speed up the process. But as for this look here today, it's a white and gold flower child transformation. I got these beautiful flower petals off eBay the other day and it inspired me to do this ethereal white and gold fairy type look. If you can learn something new from this, amazing. As usual, all the products and the music in the video will be listed below and I will see you later. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is apply the Purple Elmer's Disappearing Glue Stick. I use this glue stick whenever I'm covering my brows. I apply this in circular motions just to get underneath the hairs before I lay them flat. Then using a mascara spoolie, just combing through the hairs to lay them flat in the natural direction that they fall. Then just taking my fingers and really running them through the hairs to lay them flat and applying quite a bit of pressure. I then use a mini fan just to hurry up the drying process of my eyebrows. I then go in with my primer which is the Lancome LA Base Pro Primer and just apply that all over the skin. And then just using my fingers apply that all over my face and make sure there's no patches that you've missed and everywhere is completely covered. I then take some regular black duct tape and apply a strip on either side of my face, just below my eyes. I then go in with my foundation which is the number 7 Stay Perfect and use a damp beauty blender just to buff that into the forehead. This is in the shade Cool Ivory which perfectly matches my skin tone. And taking the Max Factor paint stick, I just apply this all over my brows. This is really full coverage, so it's really going to get rid of them and conceal them. Going back in with my Damp Beauty Blender, I'm just going to pounce it in. You don't want to drag or smear it because that will disrupt your eyebrow coverage. You just want to pack it on. Then taking the Makeup Gallery Smoothly Pressed Powder, just setting my eyebrows and the rest of my forehead so everything's matte. Then using a brush, just dust away any excess powder from your face. I then take my NYX Cream Contouring Palette and use that to contour my forehead. Then using the Beauty Blender, just buff everything out so there's no harsh edges. I'm then going in with my Clown White and using this to sketch my brow. You can do any eyebrow shape you like, this is just what works for me. And it might look quite sloppy at the minute, but once we've set it with powder, we're going to go in with some more clown white and clean it up. I then take some more foundation and just apply that at the base of the brow, just to create a fade. Then taking the MUA 12th Night Winter Shades palette, I'm just going to take the gold shadow and apply that all over the white paint. And I'm just going to take my clown white once again and use that to clean up the edges and create an eyebrow highlight. Using a clean beauty blender I buff out all of those edges and really pack it into the skin.
and then just going in with some Johnson's Baby Powder, I use that to set the white paint. For eyeshadow today, I'm going into the Saffron palette and using the yellow shadow and using a blending brush, just applying that to the eye as a transitional colour. Although they blend really well, they're not very pigmented, so you do have to pack on the colour and blend it out for quite some time. And then taking the clown white once again, I take a small angled brush and cut my crease, going to about halfway across my eyelid. And I go in and set that with the same Johnson's Baby Powder as before. Then taking the next Gold Glitter Brilliance, I apply that with some Fixed Gel by Stargazer just to the outer half of my eyelid. Then taking the same angled brush and the clown white, creating a wing from the corner of my eye all the way up to the edge of my eyebrow. For the bottom half of my face, now that my prime is dried, I'm applying that number 7 Stay Perfect foundation once again and buffing that in with the Damp Beauty Blender. Taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm going to use this to highlight. I apply this on the top of my cheekbones, down the centre of my nose, on the centre of my forehead and on my chin. Then go back to the same NYX contouring palette and just use this to chisel my nose with the Beauty Blender. Nothing too extreme, I just want to give it some definition and reduce the width. I then use the same contouring shade to contour my cheekbones and add some colour to the face. Nothing too dramatic, I'm just adding some definition. I then take the Stargazer Fixed Gel and apply that to my inner corners before applying that same gold glitter. Then taking that yellow eyeshadow from the Saffron palette, I'm just going to buff that under my lash line with a blending brush. Then taking the Sleek Solstice palette, I'm using this to highlight and using the lightest shade to go over my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. I then take some eyelash glue and apply three dots under my eye before sticking on these beautiful peach rhinestones. Then taking this gorgeous nude Revlon lipstick, I apply that all over my lips. I then take some clown white and add that to the centre of the lips and rub them together to create an ombre effect. 
taking that same eyelash glue, I apply it to different parts of my face before adding these beautiful golden white rose petals. Off camera I applied some mascara just to my top lashes, I didn't want any false lashes today because I thought it would take away from the overall eye effect. And that's it guys, that's the look completely done, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.